Ayurveda is often referred to as the mother of all healing. The knowledge of Ayurveda is believed to be divine origin. Ayurveda is the Upaveda of Atharva Veda. Maintaining the health of a healthy person, pacifying the disease of a sick person are the two main goals of Ayurveda. I am here today to give five amazing Ayurveda recommended habits for being healthy. And the first one is Brahme Muhurte Uttestet Swasto Raksharta Mayushaha, which means a healthy individual should wake up in Brahma Muhurta, that is anywhere between 3.30 to 6 a.m. in the morning, to protect and improve one's health. Brahma means knowledge. The time to seek knowledge is called as Brahmi Mahurta. And the next tip that Ayurveda gives is about Abhyanga. Abhyanga means applying oil or oil massage. It is said that doing Abhyanga every day will reduce premature aging and keep one young, reduce tiredness, bring clarity to eyes, nourishes the body, facilitates sound sleep, and makes one's skin healthy. The third habit is Tan Mana Bojana Gataha Chittaha, which means concentrating one's mind on the food while eating is important. What we think while eating, positive or negative, how thankful we are for the food we eat impacts our psychology and also affects our digestion. So it is very important to eat with tanmana, that is mindfulness. The fourth tip is also about the food, which is ajirne bojanam visham. If previously taken lunch is not digested, taking dinner will be equivalent to taking poison. So hunger is one signal that previously eaten food is digested. That means we should always eat food when we are hungry. The last tip is about eating shunti. That is small pieces of ginger with little bit of saintava lavana that is rock salt before any meal is always good for health. Doing so will boost digestion, increases the taste in food and cleans the tongue and the throat. There are so many such tips in our ancient scriptures. Ancient Indian treatments and tips are free from side effects and easy to follow. So it is important for us to learn, practice and pass down this knowledge for generations. Thank you.